All right, everyone, I'm in uh, Ruskin, Florida. I've been here for, for a bit. I'm up early. It's about 5.30 at the gas station, and I have a estate sale to go to. Looks like a lot of pulp type of stuff. There's a huge variety of different material here. Thought it'd be a good idea to check it out. I don't know what the competition will be like. It's an odd day to have an estate sale to start one on a Wednesday, but uh, we'll get in there. It's, it's in uh, Newport Reach, Ritchie. I say Ritchie. It, should, it looks like a beautiful area with a lot of uh, cash, so we'll see if he has some decent stuff in there, and um, I'll... Hey everyone, how's it going? Phil Montelioni, the book peddler, uh, coming to you with another YouTube video. Um, I'm in Ruskin, Florida right now, and I'm going to an estate sale actually, so gonna see what we can get into. I've been down here for a while. It's an odd day for an estate sale. It's a Wednesday. Um, so we'll see what the competition's looking like. I'm not, I don't quite know, uh, what exactly it's going to be like. So, uh, we'll see. It looks like a lot of pulp stuff, a lot of sci-fi, a whole variety, really. It's a Newport Ritchie and, uh, looks like a pretty well-to-do area. So we'll see what we come out with. All right, guys, I just got done with this estate sale. Holy smokes. Thank God I got here. I was still number 15 in line and, um, that was that was uh i got here like two and a half hours early check out the homes here like mcmansions so there's a line of cars going down and it's actually a beach front property probably multi multi dollar homes so very happy got great finds you want a little sneak peek hold on a minute here's a little sneak peek of some beautiful photos original Batman stuff. I think they're prints, but they are great. So I'm going to get these. Look at that. They're Superman too. So I'm going to get these back to the house and I'll show you guys the books and all the finds. Here guys, I'm going to just show you the roundabout here so that you can see the beautiful homes in this area. Life of the of the rich and famous here. Newport Re Ritchie. Or Ritchie, I don't know how you say it. Check out the boats up here. Check that out. Right on the water. Inlets. Unbelievable. Alright guys. I'm getting out of this joint. See you in a minute. Okay guys, I'm back from the sale. I got everything up here. I've been processing. Um... You know, tons of pulp uh, type stuff, fantasy, a whole array of things. So let's start. I'm going to go through these. I'm also going to show you the photos that I was giving you a sneak peek of in a bit. But I'm going to take you through here. And I'm also going to talk my way through of um, uh, some of the things that I that I noticed at the estate sale. Um, but here, let's get started. So one thing that never ceases to amaze me the people doing scanners, they, they are do, getting, you know, good stuff, good stuff that sells, but they miss so much. Uh, I don't know if I can show you some of this. There's some erotic stuff there. I guess this is yoga. The only, the listing that I currently found up for this book is a seller has it actually, um, the seller in a Wego for $250. So old naked, naked yoga. I can't take you through the book or right, my channel might get in trouble, but, um, let's 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 go through these the art of uh, vampirilla beautiful hardcover everything is clean i'm just gonna go through these the guy took really good care of this stuff he was a bachelor came from a czechoslovakian family who was very wealthy i think they had a clock company in in uh new york city so giving you a look i mean stuff like this like this one here now just look at that cover I mean, if they would have just taken two seconds, I mean, I, it's not even that I needed to open the book up, uh, but it's a signed, limited edition, you know, um, filled with this guy's artwork. There's color in the back. Um, it, 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 you know, it. If if it's not breaking the bank and you're only gonna lose. Uh, a couple bucks potentially why not give it a shot you know uh the art of red sonia will eisner color treasury 
some other stuff here okay take you to the next here's actually a pretty rare uh ufo book space gravity and the flying saucer really interesting book uh there's like diagrams like that throughout um and so th it's just a, a a very interesting book not many out there very rare to come across uh what's the date on this 1954 limited edition so i thought that was cool again no barcode a lot of people are really one dimensional at these sales and if you do learn the trade you're going to have a significant advantage over the scanners i mean that's just how it goes i'm going to show just show you more books um these are the green hornet and i like these beautiful fresh new basically brand new uh tracy lords let's see what's down here I have this whole set by uh, Mike Benton. So, I'm just going to take you through the boxes, horror comics, all sorts of stuff on comics, collecting American pulp magazines. That's the bottom of that. Let's take you up here. Space Hawk. What a gorgeous, gorgeous, clean book. Check out this. Batman with the belt wrapped around it. TV series. And um, I, I might as well take you through right here as well. Now, these ones, it's not that they have a lot of value. Forgive me for the shadow, guys. Um, but a lot of these I'm going to bulk together, like this series. So, again, I mean, per issue of this uh, Master Men Spider, it's like, basically, I found them under $10. So, what I'll probably do, I'll either sell them $10 a piece but I think I'd rather bulk them together. Now, let's see these. Uh, uh, same with these, uh, Serial World. These are um, reissued ones, and there's a whole bunch, and so I'll probably bulk them together as well. Let's go to the next. So I found these great Bruce Lee magazines, and again, this is something that I think that, you know, I could sell them individually, but I think it might have more appeal to put them all together. There's five of them. And I know people are still into Bruce Lee. So I'll scoop them up. Amazing Stories uh, magazines. I also have some early ones like papered versions. Let's see what's in this pile here, guys. MLJ Companion. The Green Hornet. Now this book here is another book. There's no barcode in it, right? You see, collector's edition. You open it up. Guess what else? It's also signed. So that's a really nice book in just wonderful, wonderful condition. Um, Immoral Tales. Stolen Sweets, another one without a barcode. About a $100 book. This one ain't worth that much. Uh, the Great Book of Movie Monsters. Very cool. Encyclopedia of Superheroes and Supervillains. Might put them together. International Book of Comics. And by the way, Ken, if you're watching, and if you see something you like, you let me know, and it's going to you, buddy, because I call Ken up, and he helped me out. Give me information on this pick. Let's go to this box. This is, um, try to get it out of the shadow. Again, uh, I saw these books... Um, everyone passed them up. Bob Moran and the Fiery Claw. These are first editions. This one's the only library one. Okay. And seeing British Limited, 1960, Jackets. I hadn't heard of him, but I said, give it a shot. You know, what do you got to lose? You're going to learn. You ain't going to lose. So I picked up those, and you know what? They go for a pretty penny, I'll tell you that. Or they appear to. Again, um, here's some great ones. Marvel Masterworks. I'm going to take these out one by one. Captain Marvel. Uh, they're all different authors. All in exceptional condition. Okay. Very happy with these ones. I keep taking them out. My back is killing me. It was a very tight, confined space I was operating in. And there was a lot of competition, but I'll tell you what, I did, I did, I think I did pretty dang good. 
Stan Lee. This is a good one right here. Well, they're all they're all good ones. Another Stan Lee. These are let me, let me take you on the inside of one of these, huh? What, oh, I wish it was signed by him. Wouldn't that be something if it was signed by him? Gosh. Um. So anyhow, doing it right off the cuff, guys. X Men. All right, and then these I found in the corner. These are like reprints. Let's see here. God, with the light, it's a bit difficult. Hold on a minute. So I got a proof copy of this book. And there were these. Who's a big fan of this stuff. Uh, I'm not familiar, but I'm taking a shot at it. Um, so that was cool. Let's go over here. So again, um, you know, and then I'm going to show you the pictures, guys. Again, uh, these books here, uh, I'm going to explain my way. I sell Emanuel Velikovsky quite frequently. I know what they go for. Found them in there. First editions, these two. So, very happy with that. Again, no barcodes. The reason why I'm emphasizing that is because if you are a reseller out there, um, you know, look, I mean, it would do you a good service to, 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 to gain as much knowledge as you can because all the scanner guys pass these up. Now, these um, Modern Library, I sell them a lot in the shop, especially the ones with the numbers on it. These are in excellent uh, condition. So I got them. There's some others up there, too. Um, and I also sell them quite frequently online. Another little thing, I think I mentioned it earlier, erotic stuff sells. So, I mean, any, I think kind of the more extreme, the better. Maybe you learn something from it and then pass it on to the next guy, right? All right. So, anyhow, Adam's uh, an evil. Man, myth, and uh, magic. I was hoping that whole set was there. I always do well. Um, another thing, you know, something that was kind of out of the norm was uh, these books here. They're these animal books. And I grabbed them quick because I had recognized the one I had sold uh, last year, actually, on, uh, yeah, it's this one, The World of the Woodchuck. And so I, I, I did pretty decent with it. And so then I look, and there's all these other ones. So I said, well, give it a shot. And I believe they're each like, you know, $25 books, but they're, they're, they're bound tight in really great condition. And, um, so I grabbed them. Okay, guys. So I showed you pretty much the majority of stuff. I'll be firing this stuff up on my seller site. Um, uh, as soon as possible being on, you know, the road is a little bit, uh, tough. This is my first pick in Florida. And so uh, I'm really happy with it. I'm going to visit some shops and, and, and do some bouncing around again. I'm going to stay here for probably at least a couple more months. Let's see the lighting's terrible up here. I'm sorry, guys. Um, if you see something you like, reach out to me, of course, stay in touch with the, um, with, with, with my, uh, storefront on the seller's account. Um, I've been having a very difficult time with uh, eBay, I've been disgusted with them the last six months, and I've, I'm seriously considering moving the whole operation completely to somewhere else. But that's another story for another day. Um, so you you can find a lot of this stuff going up. Reach out directly, whatever you want to do. I hope you guys are enjoying this video travel vlog series. Um, I'm having a lot of fun, and I'm glad that you guys are sticking around and, and are entertained to some extent and, and have interest in what I'm finding out on the road um so anyways i'm gonna close up this video appreciate you guys immensely if you're up north i hope you're staying warm it's been in the 80s down here loving it getting that tan back so hey guys till next time take care guys i forgot to show you the rest of the photos i'm so sorry <laughs> that the video wasn't long enough right let me put these out and let's check them out all right i'm gonna go through them one by one, I'm not going to talk too much about them. This video is probably already long enough. This goes Spider Returns. I like this one a lot. Uh, Superman, look, she's weighing herself on the scale and he's got his foot on it. <laughs> it's hilarious. Um, action shots from movies. Let's see this one. I don't know who that guy is. Zorro, maybe. There's Catwoman. Uh, Doc Savage. Um, 
there's a Batman. Robin, let me just go th through these. They're like 8x10s. Very nice, uh, high-quality uh, photographs. Not exactly sure what I'm going to price them at, what I'm going to do with them. They would look great in a frame, obviously. And whoever is into this stuff, like hardcore, I, I bet you they would love a, a, a really nice uh, photo on the wall like this. So I'm almost done, and then we'll I'll say goodbye. I forget who who that is. Anyhow, okay, I'm saying. All right, guys, sorry about that. I meant to get to them earlier, slip, but uh, okay, till next time, we'll see you later.